So we worked the bolt. The first round that was fired is extracted and kicked out by the ejector, which this piece also is a part of. And that round came up. You push the bolt forward, it catches the rim of the case, and then pushes it forward. The bullet hits the ramp and starts to be guided into the chamber. It clears this guide and pops up, but it doesn't pop up until it's so far forward that it can't pop out of the gun, you see? It goes closed. The extractor snaps over the rim. And close the bolt. Now, as you open it, and I'll, I'll pull the trigger. When you open it, the bolt guide hits this inclined plane on the front of the receiver, which is the primary extraction cam. So you're cocking the gun, but you're also going to break the cartridge case loose and partially extract it, so that now it's easy to open the handle. The magazine spring or the magazine follower assembly. Well, we might as well take our magazine apart since we've got it right here. Depress the latch here. Hinge it down. Pinch the whole affair together, the springs and the floor plate. And this follower and the springs slide right off. So we'll take that apart in a moment. This is riveted in, so we're not going to remove it. Our latch, spring loaded, held in place with this screw right here. Let's get it broken loose. Can use the smaller screwdriver. There's the screw. And the latch will come right out the bottom. Just like so. So our trigger guard magazine box is disassembled. But now here is our magazine follower and springs. Now we can take our trigger and slide our trigger spring, which is also our sear, through the trigger and up. Turn the whole affair over. Slide it down into the receiver. Take our large trigger spring slash sear and sear spring, since it is its own spring screw. Screw that screw down good and tight. But before you get it tight, make sure that your trigger is free. The trigger can't actually get wedged in above the sear. So rotate it around in there, make sure it's loose to flop back and forth. Snug up our sear screw. And now, Line up the hole through the receiver. And the trigger, tap it down. Now remember this one's so loose it wants to fall out, so I gotta kinda remember that while we're messing with things so I don't turn it and it falls out and gets lost. All right, at this point, I'm gonna just slide this over here and put the magazine back together.